Yes, look. It's all gone down the side and it's all gone there. Oh no. I was going to make a video to a user called Hobbs Justice, who decided in his infinite wisdom that having had the dust settle over a week ago, that it was now time for him to call me out over the transphobic comment I made on Twitter that was not a, trans a transphobic comment in its intent. It was a joke that was in that got taken the wrong way. It was taken the wrong way mainly because it was it, someone decided to pimp it out and show it to the world as this is actually a real opinion of this man and there was no context or explanation of who I was and what I did thus rendering any criticism of me based on that. You want to criticise that joke, right? That's fine. I admitted it wasn't very good, Hobbs. I said I apologise for that. I won't apologise for telling a joke. And I'm not going to sit there and fucking go up to every single person who posted to me on Twitter or Facebook or email and just say, please forgive me, I'm sorry, I've made it a podcast. No, they don't know who the fuck I was before. They won't know afterwards. They probably won't remember now. Because they just reacted. They don't know who the fuck I am. They're reacting to a single comment. That's what you're doing. Do you have, have you got watched anything I've done? Right? Here's what I do. What I do is something that not a lot of people on here do. In fact, very few of them. But I do it fucking brilliantly very well. Right? But it's very easy, when you do it, to have people take it and use it out of context. Like Thunderfoot did when he made videos to me. Like the Amazing Atheist has done when he's made videos to me. Like, well, pretty much anyone else who's made videos to me has decided to go into the route of, I'm going to take this clip and this clip. Imagine if you will, Hobbs. You take a clip from South Park of Timmy and Jimmy, just quickly, and then you show that video to people who don't know what our South Park is, they've never watched a fucking show, and then you show it to them, and they go, this is what they're doing, they're trying to sort of promote this idea that disabled people are funny, and we should laugh at them, and they speak funny, and they walk funny. And it's to sort of try and, it's to try and sort of make this stigma, in, and you would be perfectly reasonable of someone to come to that conclusion. Right? That would be it. It would be reasonable to think that, because you don't know what's gone by. Now, you had a problem, apparently, with me talking about how the people who called me out were all hysterical and losing their mind. No, Hobbs, I did not say that. I said there were some people who just went mental and hysterical and posted death threats and stupid shit like that. I ignored that. I didn't retweet it and go, this is what I'm being lily with. I, there were people who would link, who would say, this is the, you know, link me to articles, horrific articles, and they'd say, jokes like yours are, cause things like this to happen, these murders, and the, right? So that's okay, that's wonderful. I didn't react to that, I let that slide. I had four people try and fucking guilt me into fucking believe. They got PTSD from that comment. Well then, the person they should be blaming is Baronessa, who shared it because they wouldn't have seen it had she decided not to bring that back up. Right? But... I also said there was, a, there was a good number of people, a few people, who were very calm, reasonable, they didn't fucking lose it, and they realised the best thing to do is to talk to me, because they could see I was getting defensive. And I got defensive. And that's why the, tweet, the tweets and the Facebook posts you see, or other people see, that they don't like. That's, that's me, like, in a couple of hours, reacting. You know, sometimes, can I give... You know, there's this thing like, with people... Like, this, people in this part of the community, you seem to think that a person does something and like you don't consider. Like, I know, I get it. I'm the white privileged cis male. I'm not. I'm, I'm on board with all that. I understand that I don't understand this part of it, and I have to learn to accept the fact that maybe I, that I'm never gonna, and that I've got to consider what I say before I say it out loud because I don't know how it's going to affect other people. I know this, which is why I apologise for that joke. I just didn't apologise for telling it in full. I just said, I apologise, <coughs> that joke was bad. It shouldn't have, it, it should not have been, I shouldn't have done it. When you do what I do, right, which is where you push that fucking boundary, whilst coming from a place where you're perfectly safe behind it, and then you do so to let people know that those words you knew, you use every day, that you, those words you see on the news, you see, see on the internet, those words that are offensive, those words are not fucking dangerous. 
They're only dangerous if you make them dangerous, if you come from the right place and you deliver it from the right place. Right? You make the words sound how you want them to sound. So I don't sit there, right? It's not so I can get away with saying, I don't sit there and go, like, go nigger and this and that and, that, and then people go, oh, you're being racist, right? Because guess what? I say lots of fucking offensive words and slurs all the time. But guess what? People don't seem to get offended. Do you know why? It's because that's not what I point. That's not where I was coming from. So when I see people who obsess over that word over there and that word over there, and, it, and it's like, you, mu you fucked up. I've had that this way. I've had people go, you, oh, this is it. Blocking you, never talking to you again. Bye-bye. People have known for years. Right? People you're saying, you, on your video, I'm, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to answer in a really passive-aggressive way. I'm going to unsubscribe, and it's only my... I mean, it's, I mean, you might not want to unsubscribe because maybe you're not as fucking moral as me. I mean, I don't know about that. Right? If, uh, if everything I've done up until now has been rendered moot because of that comment, then do you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I can understand why so many good people who are on this website who try hard, fucking end it, and just go, bollocks, I'm not doing it. What's the point? What's the point in putting your work and effort in? You sit there and you go, you're not sure about me when I said that, you know, the idea that I couldn't tell a joke, I shouldn't tell jokes about trans people, which is what the majority of people said, by the way. The majority of the people were saying that jokes, that, uh, I should, uh, telling jokes to them is bullying equal. Like, it's not. To say that is, is an ignorant fucking statement and it's disrespectful to all comedy that has actually changed and influenced everything. Right? I'm not saying I have. What I'm saying is, it fucking has. Right? To sit there and say that just because you do a joke about something and you say something horrific about it, and it's put, it doesn't mean you hate it. Right? It doesn't mean it at all. Generally, it means the opposite. It means nothing but that. But what I'm getting from people, and this is in particular the person who shared it, is they seem to be claiming that I've said transphobic things before in the past. I've said, always on my live shows, which I never recorded conveniently, so she never had any evidence to show it. Well, let's say I have. Let's say I've said a couple of things on my live shows. Right? Can, we, can I ask why, why do those things get pulled up as real comments that are expressing a genuine opinion and uh, are not, that are not in any way jokes or being you know, informal bits of comedy? No, they're not that. No, it's clearly not that. That's clearly how he really feels. Oh, everything else he says about every other group into the same degree and in the same and with, with the same delivery. No, no, that's that's not that's not a bit real. But the transgender stuff is. Right? If that's what you do, and that's what she's doing, that's what Baronessa did. That's what she's claiming. She's claiming the transgender joke, uh, jokes I must have told in the last year, which are apparently they're like they're like fucking MRA's false rape accusations. They're apparently everywhere, but no one can fucking see them. Right? If you think only they, are, if they think only they are bad, and everything else is not fucking worth bringing up. You're full of shit. You think you're a special snowflake, is what you're saying. You think that anything said about you is, 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 like, is wrong. Right? Whether it's a joke or not, right? I can carry on with everyone else's, but I can't carry on with yours. Right? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not going to do jokes about transgender people. Because that's the whole point. The second I sit here and say that group can't have a joke told or made about them ever, the rest of you are going to have to stick it out. I'm basically saying, you guys are okay to mock rock, these guys are not. And to me, I'm saying to them, uh, you guys are apparently, you, uh, you guys are too, uh, too immature, You're ch you know, I have to treat you like special kids. Right? That's insulting to them. That's me. Right? That's what I meant. I meant that I don't want, to be, I don't want people to think that I'm apologising for a joke. I'm not, I'm not apologising for telling a joke full stop. I'm apologising for clearly telling a joke that was, you know, easily taken the wrong way and that caused the wrong people, who I didn't want to offend, offence. That's what I meant. And that's on me. And fuck you, Hobbs. And I said this in the comment section. And I don't care what you... I was going to make the video anyway. But fuck you. You could have talked to me about your concerns. We could have sorted them out in private. Instead, you bring this out today. Unnecessarily. Without any fucking reason. You add nothing to this conversation other than your own sort of... Oh, I'm not sure... You fucking... And the, the small bits you disagree with me on, you completely fucking take... You don't tell that. That's not what I was saying. You just take little bits of it. 
Right? And you misrepresent the idea at the end of it when I'm talking about not telling jokes about one thing. Right? I want to be able to make people feel inclusive. I don't want people to be forced to be inclusive. Does that make sense? I don't, want I don't want transgender people to be forced to laugh and sit there and take jokes that I'm writing that are bad. I want to be able to make them and write them and get to the point where I can show them that it's okay. And that's on me. That's what I meant. You could have asked me and I would have fucking told you. You could have contacted me. You sat there in my fucking live show last night. As I was talking about that bit I just did, and you had the keyboard there, you even had it as a hangout, you could have asked me, can I get in there? Can I ask you some questions? I want to ask you something about this. And we could have sorted this out like gentlemen. But what did you do? No, I'm going to make a video tomorrow. I'm not going to ask him anything. I'm not going to go and find out any more than I've got. And I'm going to make a video with still, you know, without, no, and sort of admitting there's things I'm unsure about. Right? You wouldn't have been unsure if you'd spoken to me, right? And I'm not saying, out like, oh, please don't make videos about me. I don't give a shit about you making this video. I give a shit about is the attitude in this video. And it's the sort of attitude that this video was being made by you because you wanted to have a video, you wanted to get it up, and it's got, it's got my name in it, so that's going to get something in it. And it's got transphobia, so people know it's going to be drama. And when it's things out there you could have easily fucking figured out without having to do this, this isn't a profound video that had to be made. You've done it so you can just make a fucking video. And God, Christ knows, who gives a shit about actually talking to Coughlin about it? And that's what's going to be the downfall of these of people on this side of this movement. Because <laughs> it's, it's all I've seen all week is people go, oh, that's it, bye bye, get it block. Okay then. No, you will get nowhere. I, I realise that there's a certain, there's this privilege issue, and there is this issue where we have to sort of, you know, we have to accept certain advantages that we've inherited, but there's also you guys have to accept that human beings, whatever they are, are still people. And maybe when they're posting stuff and they're being a bit defensive, maybe they're feeling a little bit, I don't know, attacked at that moment. Maybe they feel they need to be defensive because they need to defend themselves. Maybe if you didn't block them after half an hour of them saying something, you might be around in a few days when they finally get, like manage to calm down and post a full comprehensive apology and explain why they, you know, what the problem was, what they meant by it, why they, you know, blah blah blah. And no, you just fuck off. You're not interested in actual people, right? You know, and I've fucking been on here long enough, and I've been doing this long before, like thirteen and a half fucking years. I have earned my fucking right based on what I have done, right? on how much has been achieved because of me. Right? If you want to sit here for one second, Hobbs, as I'm not going to sit here and do it on camera, I'll look like a fucking arrogant prick. If you want to sit here and do a dick measuring contest, I will list off every fucking thing in the last seven years that has happened because of me. Right? Positive change. Things that are actually affecting people for the better. People who have fucking overcome things because of me. Right? Thousands of fucking things. On top of that. None of that fucking matters now because I did a joke on Twitter three weeks ago. That has been the fucking bane, the, the bane of people's existence. The 13 years previous to that. Do I look like I'm doing the fucking... Do I look like I'm in a position where a man of 35 years old should be in his life? No, I'm not really, am I? Do you think I'm happy about that? No, because I fucking sacrificed for what I did. What I do, right, whether I'm famous at it or whether I'm fucking making millions, what I do is what I've always wanted to do. It's what makes me want to get up in the morning. It ma makes me want to stay up at night. It's what makes me want to come on here and deal with people like you who think they can fucking sit there and condescend to me and tell me about their unsubscribing and they should be... Fuck off! I don't care whether you're here or not. I never asked you to fucking stay. If you don't want to fucking give, if nothing I do matters until then, you have got an impossible standard that cannot be met and you will fail as a result of it. And I hope one day people fucking do the same with you because God knows, Hoobs, no, you and everyone else out there who does that, I hate to tell this to you, you're not fucking perfect. You're not and you never will be. And I'm not perfect either. So which is why when I make a mistake, I atone for it and I say sorry.
But then I have to say it again and again and again because people like you are not fucking sure. Well, do you know what? If you're still not sure, Hobbs, you're going to have to live the rest of your life living with the anxiety of knowing that someone out there has a different agreement, there's a disagreement with them on something that's borderline fucking irrelevant. And I'm afraid if that's enough for you to say, well, I don't know if I can trust anything he ever says ever again, or I can believe any joke he's ever told, or I can listen to him or I can hold him in any high regard, because he did something wrong. He, even though it was not what it was intended to be, yes, we saw it, but there's a nip, dip. bye bye, Hobbs. Go away. Get on with your life, and I hope. And, and if there's anyone out there who is not sure, go away, please. Right? I cannot believe I've wasted a week of my life on this, and I'm still here now. You didn't even deserve this fucking video. You didn't deserve any of it. Right? Right? What you, you, but you got it, right? And I got it because I'm sick of people like you and everyone else who makes people like who makes the hard work that I do fucking feel irrelevant because you make one little thing and you come swanning in like you're fucking going oh very gauche you got fucking old coward over there judging everyone else what have you done look yourself and say me that try and tell me what the fuck you're here for and why i should care before you sit there and pass judgment over me